फ्रेंड्स इफ यू लुक इन टू एनी इलेक्ट्रिकल स्टार्टर और इलेक्ट्रिकल पैनल विच इज़ देयर विद द वायर्स ऑफ पैनल दिस टाइप ऑफ फेरुल इज अटैच इट मीन्स टू आइडेंटिफाई एनी वायर फेरुल विच इज़ देयर ऑन दिस फेरुल एनी नंबर और एल्फाबेट इज रिटर्न सो वॉट वी डू इज विद द वायर वी अटैच द फेरुल सो दैट वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई दैट वायर सपोज यू मेड दिस स्टार्टर आफ्टर बिल्डिंग स्टार्टर आफ्टर सम डेज इन दिस स्टार्टर अ प्रॉब्लम अराइजेज नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सॉर्ट आउट द प्रॉब्लम दैन फॉर दिस यू नीड टू ट्रेस द वायर्स दैट इज विच वायर इज कमिंग फ्रॉम वेयर यू नीड टू ट्रेस दिस सो वैन यू बिल्ड एनी स्टार्टर और इलेक्ट्रिकल पैनल विच इज देयर इन दिस पैनल हाउ वी डू नंबरिंग ऑफ फेरोल आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू दिस थ्रू दिस वीडियो इन डिटेल फॉर एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस आई ऑलरेडी मेड अ सर्किट डायग्राम हेयर आई हैव टोटल थ्री पेजेज इन विच देयर आर टोटल फाइव सर्किट डायग्राम्स थ्रू दीज आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू एवरीथिंग सो राइट नाउ आई एम टेकिंग दिस सर्किट डायग्राम इन दिस सर्किट डायग्राम वायर विच इज देयर आई नीड टू डू नंबरिंग ऑफ दिस वायर फॉर नंबरिंग वी हैव टू फॉलो सम रूल्स इफ यू लुक टूवर्ड्स वायरिंग ऑफ एनी पैनल दैन इन दिस वायरिंग नंबरिंग विच इज डन इन दिस नंबरिंग फर्स्ट डिजिट इज अल्फाबैट लाइक सपोज फर्स्ट लेटर इन नंबरिंग इज अल्फाबैट ई आफ्टर दिस इट इज रिटर्न जीरो वन और वी कैन से इट इज रिटर्न ई वन If this type of numbering is there then there is a meaning of first digit here suppose in your wiring first digit which is written is e then e means that wire is there for pt if first digit is h after this there is a number like h1 is written so in this numbering if first digit is h then h means wire which is used here is for ac power supply this means mcb we use power supply which is coming from mcb first wire of this power supply will be numbered as h1 h2 h3 in this way and for neutral power supply we denote neutral supply as n similarly in any wiring numbering which is done in this numbering it is written j1 or j2 if this is written then it means wire is used for dc power supply that is this j tells us that this wire is used for dc power supply if you have dc power supply like here i am writing positive and here negative so we denote this positive power supply with j1 and denote negative power supply with j2 that is by numbering as j1 and j2 you will do the ferruling ferruling which i am going to tell you now in this ferruling i will not use the first alphabet simply by numbering as 1 2 3 4 in this way how to do ferruling i am going to tell you this i mean i will tell you a simple way that if you build any starter then in this how to do numbering in a proper way for now let us consider you have a lamp here for this lamp here phase supply and this neutral supply is used along with this in between a switch is used now in this wiring we have to do ferruling that is we have to write ferrul number friends if you are going for numbering then first of all numbering should start from top so right now in this circuit diagram power supply is going first here that is on this point you will get power supply now here you connected a wire and with this switch you connected the wire so this first wire here you will give numbering to this as 1 now other end of this wire at this point on this point also you have to provide same number because it is same wire so here also number will be 1 so on this point and on this point at both the points we have to do numbering as 1 now after this switch is connected here we don't do any numbering because this is a electrical device now below this switch a wire is connected so we will give number to this wire as 2 here we written 1 and here 2 other end of this same wire is also numbered as 2 now this point is showing terminal of this lamp so this is 2 besides neutral power supply we have if we want we can give three number to this neutral power supply it means this point is numbered as 3 so this point is also numbered as 3 now this other circuit diagram we have let's do numbering in this in same way we have to do numbering in this also to this phase supply here give one number other end of this also numbered as 1 Besides if you want to this neutral power supply here you can give this as number 2 in this circuit diagram i told you to do numbering from here but to this neutral power supply also you can give number 2 so i written here number 2 one end of this wire is connected at this point so to wire connected at this point also give this number 2 besides this neutral power supply here one wire of this neutral power supply is connected at this point in between none of the electrical device is connected like here one electrical device is connected so here it gets divided but here none of the electrical component is connected so numbering which is done here will be same at the other end of wire here we given two number so here also it is 2 and this point also will be numbered as 
After this, below this switch to this wire here, give three number. This is three number wire. Other end of this wire is here, so at this point also we will insert three number ferrule. This wire is also connected at this point, so this will also become three number. And other end of this wire is here, so this is also numbered as three. Friends, be careful here that even if the wire is divided like this, then also there is no difference. You have to do same numbering everywhere. If in between there is an electrical switch, like here a electrical switch is connected. If this type of electrical switch comes in between, then in this condition number will change. If no electrical device is there in between, then same number will continue. Now here I have one more circuit diagram. Let's do numbering in this circuit diagram. In this circuit diagram, phase supply here to this phase supply, I am giving one number. After this, neutral power supply here, I am giving two number to neutral supply. Now this neutral power supply is connected at this point also, so two number. And here also it is connected, so giving it two number. Now this phase supply is coming directly to this point, so this will become one number because we given this supply one number. This same wire is going to this point, so this is also numbered as one. After this, here switch is connected. Below switch, there is a wire. We will give this three number. Here is one, here is two, and this one is three. Other end of this will also be three, and this one is numbered as four, and this one is also four. So how to do numbering in this? You understood. If you look into an electrical panel, then inside panel you will see that phase supply which is there on that phase supply H one is written. It means it is incoming power supply of phase supply. After this, on neutral power supply, you will see N two is written or N one. Right now, I am telling you a simple way. Now, this dual starter I have. Let's start numbering in this. As you can see, here is phase supply, so I am giving phase supply one number. Other end of phase supply is also numbered as one number. I am giving two number to neutral power supply. Here also neutral power supply is there, so it is also considered two number. Besides, this stop push button is there. With output terminal of this wire which is connected, I am numbering this as three. Now three number wire is also connected at this point. It will also become three. And from here wire is coming to this point, so this is also three number. After this, this wire is numbered as four. At this point also it is four. And at this point also wire numbering will be four. After this, I have one more circuit diagram. This is also a circuit diagram of dual starter. But here on indication and off indication lamp is also connected. Let us do numbering in this also. This wire will become one. Neutral power supply will become two. Neutral supply is divided at points. Like at this point, it is also two. At this point, two. And at this point also, it is two. One number wire is coming here, so this is also one. From here, wire is going to this point, so it is also one. Wire connected at output of stop push button will be numbered as three. It is also connected at this point. This will also become three. Here also, we have to write three. After this, here start push button which is connected. Power supply going from this. Give this power supply here as four number. On this point also give four number. On this point also four number ferrule will be inserted. Along with this, here also four number ferrule will come. All these wires are connected together, so everywhere four number ferruling will be done. After this, here we have NC contact. So after this NC contact wire which is connected, we will do numbering in this wire as five. Here also it will be five. Friends, I hope you understood how in any circuit we do numbering of wire so that in future if any problem occurs in starter, then by looking into wire we can easily do the identification. Friends, I hope you learned something new from this video. If you learned something new from this video, then please give like on this video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.